I have a theory, ladies and gentlemen, that we are actually uh, nicer to animals than we are to each other sometimes. I, I have proof of this. Uh, we have a cat in our house. And, uh, now, I'm not a cat person, because I was never bitten by a radioactive cat. But we have a cat. <laughs> and the reason we have a cat is proof that we're nicer to animals than we are to each other. Because the reason we have a cat is we found a cat by our bins. He looked hungry, so now he lives with us. <laughs> you wouldn't do that for a human being, would you? You're, all right, mate, what are you doing by the bins? You all right there? What are you doing? Well, you're just hungry, are you? Do you want to live in the house? <laughs> oh, yeah, live in the house. Yeah, no, come on in. No, it's not a problem. Yeah, on you go. Yeah, yeah. It's much better than being by the bins. No, don't get a job. No, you can just live here. We'll buy your food for you. And in exchange for that, could you just shit everywhere? Could you do that? <laughs> that seems like a good deal, doesn't it? This is the living room. If you could just slowly but surely destroy the furniture, just a little bit every day, just a little bit. <laughs> We'd appreciate that. Um, this is where me and the wife normally sit, watching TV. Listen, while we're doing that, could you just show us your arse? Could you do that? <laughs> could you, in exchange for room and board, could you just back up towards us with your pink balloon not on display? Do you think you can manage that? <laughs> we'd, we'd appreciate that. That's... Is that everything? I think that's everything. Oh, sorry, there's one more thing. I, I know we're asking a lot. But we are letting you live here rent-free, and we are buying your food for you. Could you just now and again, when I'm on my own in the house, could you just jump on the back of my chair and frighten the shit out of me? Just now and again. <laughs> Not so often that it becomes commonplace. <laughs> Not often enough that I get used to it. Just rare enough that every time it happens, I actually think I'm going to die. Could you do that? <laughs> well, welcome aboard. Honey, the man we found by the bins wants to sleep in our bed with us tonight. Is that okay? Apparently that's fine. Apparently that's not a problem. <laughs> Apparently it's not even weird. No, no, don't have a bath. Just lick yourself. That'll do. <laughs> Just lick your rancid hole right in front of us, you filthy animal. <laughs> and the way it was sold to me that the cat would live in the house was that he would keep away the mice, which was a weird bargaining chip for my wife to play, because I don't give a shit about mice. In fact, I think mice are a better pet than the average cat because they're just as cute as a cat, but you don't have to buy or open the food for them. They just eat whatever's lying around. You go away on holiday, you don't have to get somebody to come around and feed your mice, do you? No. Mice are a very handy pet. Not as handy as the tapeworm. I'll have whatever you're having. Tapeworm is a very handy pet. 